Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to upload to Instagram through your PC, your Mac, whatever. It's 2018, let's find a better way than Chrome and editing the mobile view, whatever. First I gotta take the dog out and then I'm gonna get to it. Well, good morning YouTube, let's get it. What is up? So we're out here, we're putting things online, we're using Instagram, whatever, whether you're a business owner, you know, maybe you broke your phone and you need to put a photo on Instagram through your PC or your desktop. Here we are, here we are. So we're online, here's my Instagram profile if you wanna check it out, the Danny Jacobs, whatever. Not important, but we're trying to put it online, trying to upload an image from your PC, desktop, Mac, blah, 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 blah. So here we are. Now this is the old method. I don't recommend this because it's a pain in the butt, but you know, I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna give you a couple options, whether you wanna choose the hard method or the easy method, that's your option. So this is the Instagram.com URL. So go on Instagram.com and as you can see, you know, it doesn't really give you the ability to you know, upload a photo on the web. I don't know why a billion dollar company hasn't allowed that yet, but they have. So here we are. Now, if you wanna upload a photo to Instagram from Instagram.com, not using the app, you'll have to have Google Chrome. So you get on Google Chrome, Instagram.com. Now you right click or, you know, you do the two finger tap on the Mac and now you go down to inspect, okay? Now this is kind of like a little bit of a, you know, sneak around method, I guess you'd like to call it. But, so now we're on this mobile view, okay? So this is what developers can see so they can, you know, test out mobile settings, whatever. Now we're on this mobile view and you wanna go ahead and refresh it so then, you know, the web page can understand that it's mobile view. Ah. Uh. Got my morning coffee in, feeling good, feeling good. So here we are um, on this mobile view, okay? And as you can see, it looks like how it would look like on the app. All right, so now, can you even do this anymore? Uh, I think you got to edit the URL to go to the home page. Now, this is kind of a pain in the butt. See, this is why this is a hard method. I don't even know why anybody else teaches that you should do this method because what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. All right, so see, we're on this mobile view, and you, you see how, I don't know, does this even work? Yeah, okay, so, you know, now you can access it like you would access the app. You click the camera on the top left, you know, and you pick what photo that you want to upload, whatever. I'm not going to upload it because I want to upload my photo through the other method. But as you can see, this method does work, but to me, it's a pain in the butt. Now let's jump over to the next screen. Now I'm going to show you something cool. Now I came across this site. It's called LatelySocial.com and it's 100% free, and what I've seen that there's really no, there's no limitations on what, you know, they allow you to access, and to be honest, you can access anything, you can have unlimited posts, you can post to your Facebook profile or page, your Instagram accounts, and your Twitter. Um, now, you know, since we're here because of Instagram, let's go to Instagram. So as you can see, you know, I had already logged in with my account and now this is their dashboard and it's pretty straightforward, you know, so say I want to upload that uh, photo, you know, it's just a quote. I'm more, more or less doing it as a test for you guys to see. So, you know, I'm in this upload, I'm gonna pick this image. It's gonna upload. Now I'm gonna add it. And as you can see, they give you a little preview over here on the right 
um, of what it looks like. Now, the cool thing about this, you know, if you're a photographer or, you know, you just have a lot of files on your computer, it allows you to import your photos through Dropbox and um, Google Drive. So, you know, it allows you, it kind of syncs everything all together. It also allows you to post to my story, which I don't believe the other method that I showed you, um, you know, through Google, Google, blah, 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 through Google Chrome allows you to do. It also, um, you know, I'll let you, let you post the uh, multiple posts on Instagram, blah. I can't even talk right now. Maybe I'm just so excited. I got my coffee in. All right, so, and then, uh, you know, you can write a caption. You know, I don't even know. I'm just gonna pick an emoji. So it lets you also insert an emoji. Um, you know, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, it allows you to pull a caption so you can save captions. So say if you have a ton of like hashtags or whatever and you use it over and over again, it allows you to save those. Um, allows you to schedule. I don't know, did I mention that yet? Um, so say you don't want to post it right now, but you want to post it at a peak hour during the day. You go ahead and, you know, you could pick a day, you know, say your users or, you know, your engagement's higher on maybe, a, you know, you know, Saturday or whatever, you can pick a day, select the day, select the time, you know, go through all that, you know, allows you to schedule everything, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, this advanced option is pretty cool as well. It allows you to add the first comment to your post. So again, if you have that, like all the hashtags and everything you use over and over again on your post, a lot of people don't like to put that right in there first, like as the caption, they, you know, would rather put it as their comment. So, um, yeah, I mean, I found this uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's super cool, very easy to use interface. Um, and, you know, it gives you uh, the schedules so, you know, you can see when you planned out things and a bunch of cool different stuff. I'll leave the link below in my bio if you want to check it out. Oh, by the way, you know, their customer support is like insane. Um, you know, they have a live chat right on their website. Anytime I've asked them a question, you know, they answer like they answer right away pretty much. Um, I know the live chat isn't an, isn't available after. Uh, 12 o'clock at night till 8 a.m. in the morning, but you know, they're very responsive uh, via email. So they have great customer service as well. I like to point that out, but yeah, so I'll leave the link of this in my bio. I definitely recommend this method over anything else I've ever tried. Um, and again, you know, integrating the Google Drive and Dropbox, whatever, my stories, multiple photos. Um, you can add multiple Instagram accounts, multiple Facebook, Twitter, whatever, it literally organizes everything all in one. So uh, it's 100% free, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the video, I would oh, I would appreciate so much if you left a you know like or a comment um, and even subscribe to my channel. You know, I'd appreciate that a lot. And uh, you know, I'll keep making more tutorial videos, but I hope this one helped. You know, I hope whatever you needed to post on Instagram from your desktop or your PC, I hope this answered your questions. If you have any more questions, leave it, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it. Um, and we'll go from there. Thanks, YouTube. Hope you liked the video.